Hey folks, welcome back to Farming Simulator and we're doing another tutorial video for Maze Plus version 1.5 and today we're going to have a look at compost. This was prompted by me attempting to make compost and failing because the mower that I was using was uh, a conditioning mower and that kind of screws up your chance to make compost so I thought I'd do a video on it because I'm assuming if I'm struggling, wow that police car is annoying, uh, maybe others were as well. I kind of touched on it in my intro video but I f 11 a few trailers full of things that I needed to make it I didn't actually make it so you can see I have a whole shed load of different mowers in front of me base game DLC and mods and we're going to go through and have a look at what type of mower you need to use to get the conditioning or to not have mower conditioning happening uh, and what you can do if you want to use a mower that has mower conditioning and maybe how you can change it so that it doesn't. Um, so something important, I guess, is as part of Maze Plus, a whole load of the mowers in the base game and the DLCs and mods have mower conditioning added to them. Um, so the Cavernon and Vicon DLC mowers that you can see off in the distance on the case, they get mower conditioning added to them. The... Uh, Novacats you can see on the fence next to it they get mower conditioning added to them as do the base game ones those are not those are the modded ones that windrow um the new holland disc bind in front of us gets mower conditioning added um the alpine dlc does not which is why we've got the riggy track there um, so i'm just going to run through a whole load of different mowers and show you what to look for um i'm running without seasons they work with seasons on as well whether you've got the wet crop icon up or not not having mowing conditioning on the mower gets you what you need to make compost which is either wet if you're using a grass product or alfalfa or clover you want wet grass clover or alfalfa which will show up potentially as fresh grass clover or alfalfa when you mow it um, so I'll show you the couple of different things. We'll then sh I'll then show you how to collect it and make it. So let's jump in to the uh, brain fade. Uh, let's let's switch off uh, flight mode and easy dev, and we're going to jump in the brewer, um, which is obviously a DLC tractor but behind me I have the base game New Holland Disc Bind. This does get mower conditioning added to it um, and that's because in the real world it has these rollers on the back which crimp and condition as you mow. Um, I learned that stuff from watching the uh, 10th generation dairyman on YouTube because they use a New Holland Dick Bind to do most of their mowing and they needed, um, I can't remember what they were mowing but they didn't want the crimping um, so they switched to a mower very much like we're going to switch to next um, so yeah, nice uh, streak there of uh, mown grass and because we have mower conditioning we get grass, um, let me just swap to my reference table um, so I can tell you. So that is also grass windrow, um, depending on the map and once you put it into something it will probably come up as grass windrow. So next we are going to jump in the little class um, and here I have the base game Coon side mower. Um, if we look under here you can see we don't have anything that will do conditioning and because of that the farming agency don't give it mild conditioning so if we switch this one on and drop it down you can straight away see that we're getting a different texture of grass on the ground this is wet grass um, and this is what you need to make compost um, you need the moisture in it to rot down to uh, create something you can use to fertilize your plants or grass or whatever um so yeah base game wise and texture wise those are the two th different things you're looking for um if you're playing with seasons and you mow with a mower conditioner if you have if the crop moisture is low enough you will go straight to um semi-dry grass rather than to grass um so that would then be able to dry into hay and um, but what you want is 
this darker green um, grass fresh for making compost so we've got a whole bunch of different options to try and uh, some of them I've already told you the answer some of them I haven't so this is the uh, John Deere swather that was released recently on mod hub let's run this and see what we get so as I said this video is very much about me trying to find some mowers that I can use to make compost on uh, my home world save because I have so much grass on there that I uh, I really don't need to use it all to uh, feed my animals and we're getting the uh, the wet grass or fresh grass from this guy um, then this sort of leaves a swath I guess just because it's quite a narrow mower um, so that's an option for you um, next we have the uh, there's a pair of Massey Ferguson mowers that I found on the mod hub um, now I think they do have a conditioner on the back of them in reality um, but because they are a relatively recent mod they do not have mower conditioning enabled in the game if you wanted to give them mower conditioning i have a video on how to do that it's fairly simple it's just a very quick change in the xml it helps if you lower the mowers i find um so yeah i'll link that in the description below so if you wanted to use sorry bit of a cough there if you wanted to use a mower that was more recent that wasn't added by the farming agency then i'll check that video out it'll show you how to add them yeah so that gives us our fresh grass as well um probably you're interested in an option that would give us a swath um so i've grabbed the uh the rotzel mash swather that i used on west texas because this is fairly wide and also gives a fairly nice swath so we'll run this one down and see what we get I'm not sure what the answer would be in reality um, as to whether this would condition as it went through the header and whether there are rollers in the header but it doesn't in game so you get a, a, a swath that we could turn into compost So that's a good option, I think, if you're looking to make compost in the game. I think that's, I was going to say, I think that's available on all platforms, but that's kind of irrelevant with Maze Plus, because Maze Plus is PC only. So. Um, next, we've got the Stuff from the Alpine DLC. Um, I wanted to include stuff that wasn't DLC because I think the Alpine DLC is not something that everyone brought but I think these are really nice little mowers um, for a set of butterfly mowers they have quite a low horsepower requirement which is quite nice um, they don't swath I guess is the downside so if we stick these on um, you can kind of guess now what's going to happen we get a swath of uh, fresh grass I'm not going to show you too much of that. Um, we'll just quickly do the uh, Caverna and Vicon DLC mowers because these are quite popular mowers. Because they swath, I guess, and they're big. But you do need a big tractor to run them. So we'll just uh, quickly show you those as well. Just waiting for them to lower so I can set it to swathing mode. And you can see already we are getting a, uh, a swath of grass rather than fresh grass. <laughs> so let's switch that off. Um, this is the bit where it gets a bit more interesting and maybe a bit more like a lot of my other tutorials for a second. 
So we uh, have the uh, Novacat Varia mowers, which are off of ModHub. <coughs> the cool thing about these is they will swath. So if you uh, trying to find the right key combination, you look the little arrow, little swiper on the front there, moved across to narrow, and that's using trying to do too many things at once. Uh, using the uh, mouse or front loader controls, um, so for me on keyboard that's uh, shift and K and M changes that, um, and that puts us into swathing mode. Should probably unfold that mower, drop it down, run it. So we get a swath of. Uh, grass windrow, so not that we can make into compost, but you could make into silage. So what we're going to do now is save the game, go out to the mods folder, and I'll show you how to do a very simple change to uh, get that to not be a conditioning mower. So in our mods folder, and Nova, the Novacat Varia pack is the pack that I was just using. So what we're going to do is copy and paste that and we're going to click on it so we can rename it or you could um, do right click and rename and then we're just going to put at the end no, M, C. that simple um, what that does is um, the the script in Maze Plus is looking for specific mod names and the mod name is now wrong. Um, so we'll load back into the game and I'll show you the effect that has. So just on the mod selection screen and so this was the original that we had and you see we now have a duplicate. Um, so if we select that, so you would have to buy another set of mowers. Um, that is the downside of doing this. But if, if you're cash strapped, I would go with a cheaper option like just buying the... Uh, base game side mower, something like that. So if we now jump over to our field full of mowers, and I'm just going to use store deliveries, and if we now go into the mower section, um, you'll see it appears twice. So these are the original ones because we own one of each. And if we now buy a set of these, and uh, we'll stick them on the case. Just drop these off. And, uh, stick them on the case because I want to use these for another demonstration as well. If you're wondering why I didn't prep this in advance, it can be confusing, obviously, having a duplicate mod. Um, what you could do is go into the XML and make some changes to make it more obvious that um, these are the ones that don't have motor conditioning. That trick um, was told to me by the alien pool. Um, that trick may not work for all mods so we just need to put it onto swathing mode again um, so if it doesn't work yeah you, you're out of luck with that mod but you can see instantly the difference we now get the fresh grass rather than the uh, semi dry grass so what we're going to do now is we're just going to plow through the hedge it's okay because we own it and because next door we have a clover field and we'll just quickly do a test with these two sets of mowers with the clover. And then what I'm going to do is switch the camera off and mow a load. And uh, we'll then be able to see how we go around and go about actually making some compost. So clover, we get clover fresh without conditioning. And if we jump in the fence. And then 
remember these ones do have mild conditioning so uh, we can uh, just see what difference we get um, the same would apply to alfalfa as well I just didn't want to have three fields waiting so you can see they are a slightly different colour and we have clover rather than clover fresh. So I'm going to mow a load of grass and probably some clover as well and I will come back to you when we are actually making the compost. Mowed a load of the grass um, using the uh, Novacats that I tweaked or just renamed the mod basically. Um, and we're now going to pick up with a loading wagon. Why a loading wagon? Um, you can't bale it um, because if you bale it it will uh, get wrapped as silage um, you can't use a forage harvester because that will condition it and turn it into um, grass windrow rather than grass fresh so we need to use a loading wagon um, to pick up with the loading wagon you see we get grass fresh um, I used a worker to mow part of this corner of the field uh, after I did a couple of headlands so it's a little bit of a mess um, to use compost you need to be on a map that has compost enabled so that is um, if you go on the most plus discord any of the maps in the FA map edits um, or any other map that says it already has compost so most of Lancy Boys maps these days have compost enabled um, if compost is enabled then adding in version 1.5 of Maze Plus will let you make compost um, the other thing you can do which I've done on whole mold is uh, if you're on one of the FA map edits there's a compost buy station you can add in and you can just buy it it's really cheap um, but we're gonna make it um, I think Lancey's maps have compost by points on them as well already um, so we'll uh, we'll just do one lap I think I'm not going to bother doing loads because otherwise we'll have loads to compact um, so I've mown way more grass than I actually need but we'll stop with that um, so if I bring the F1 menu up and we drive in to a bunker you will see that it changes to raw compost because we need to ferment compost a lot like silage so we'll unload the fresh grass and you can see it's turning into a kind of dark colour that's the raw compost um, and then we're going to add a couple of other bits in that you can add so you could stop at that point and you could compact it, cover it and ferment it ignore the really badly put in bunker silo Um, so uh, let me just very quickly switch to my other screen and um, because I have the most plus manual open as you should sometimes and because there's a lot of other things you can add in to the wet grass wet clover or wet alfalfa so I've got a trailer full of lime here that you can add um, you can add straw, hay, manure or miscanthus as well um, and whenever you tip one of those in, so if I drive into the empty bunker um, you see at the moment it says whole crop fresh and then when I drive in with my trailer full of lime it switches to raw compost um, so you could start with lime I've not tried to just ferment lime, we might do that as an experiment at the end um, ignore the really messy driving trying to get this done quickly because I have something else that I need to do as well um, so yeah you could just straight compact and ferment the uh, grass that we have here um, but we're also going to dump in this trailer full of lime amounts of things like lime to add that would be realistic I'm not sure as I always say I'm not a farmer um, but I'm just going to dump the whole trailer in and then we'll uh, not get it compacted off camera because there's a fair bit of compacting to do and we'll set up a few experiments and I will be back 
put that's that compacted uh, same as you would normal normal silage and then just art to cover it and then I think base game it's 24 hours to ferment stuff seasons it's a seasons period which so like early late spring whatever uh, and then you get compost so if we just speed up time a whole load through to the morning we uh, will have our fermented compost that you could then use to fertilize your fields so that looks like it took 12 hours even better and then if we just pop that open there we have compost uh, that just goes in standard pretty much every manure spreader you can get in the game so uh, that's the useful helpful bit of the tutorial out of the way now I want to try some experimenting for my own interest shall we say Realism mode is now off. Where are you? You can get lime really cheap on some maps. In fact, you can get it for free. Probably not on compatible maps, but you can get lime really cheap. going to be a bit of a pain. This is the do not try at home bit. Looks like you could in theory just dump lime in a bunker and get compost which is totally unrealistic um, which is not what Maze Plus is about really uh, I just wanted to see if this would work for my own curiosity really um, so you can use straw, hay, manure, miscanthus or lime along with the wet grass, alfalfa and clover to make your compost. Um, it's interesting because it's another use for miscanthus which is a crop that I really like messing about with. Um, I don't do as much of it as I would like in game but it's a crop that I find really interesting and so we have a use for it now. You could turn it into an organic fertilizer. Yeah, so you can make compost out of just lime ignore that last bit everyone that was really kind of randomness for me um, if we keyboard really badly placed if we run over and jump in to the uh, fence just to show you that the, uh, the clover when we pick that up we get fresh clover or clover fresh um, that will vary depending on the map that you are on as to what the description is but yeah you want to make it with clover mow it with a uh, a mow with that conditioner pick it up in a loading wagon dump it in the bunker the same do love that view on sandy bay apart from the weeds so yeah what are the basics you want a mow without a conditioner um so just to recap Something like the uh, base game side mower would work perfectly. Um, a lot of the more recent modded mowers don't get mower conditioning just with the way the script is set up. If you want to add mower conditioning, the link is in the description below for my video on how to do that. We covered if you want to uh, take a mod that has mower conditioning, so something like the Novacat Variant series and uh, make it so it doesn't have mower conditioning. Um, most of the DLC, or sorry, the class and Cavernlin DLC mowers all get mower conditioning. The Alpine DLC stuff does not. Um, with seasons on, if you don't have a conditioner, then you are fine whether you have the wet crop, crop icon up or not. 
um, it doesn't behave like if you do have a conditioner where if the wet crop icon is up or off you get different states of grass from it you get the same without the conditioner which is really cool um, pick it up with a loading wagon because if you use a forage harvester it gets conditioned uh, tip it in a bunker add in whatever else you want from the list or if you've got the three grass alfalfa wet grass alfalfa or clover and then straw hay manure miscanthus or lime uh, then compact and ferment and then spread with the muck spreader um, if you want to use precision farming go on the farming agency discord and you'll see in there along with the fa map edits there's an edited version of precision farming which works with compost uh, which you may have seen me use on oak hill which is the last place that i used it so and i think that's everything so uh, thanks for watching folks if you made it this far hit the like button if you made this far and you're not already subscribed, leave me a comment and uh, catch you next time.